you so much for tuning in. My name is Jasmine, and today I would like to discuss topics on beating the Monday blues. Now, and it's just about finding ways to get back into the work week and not feeling groggy. Now, on my first tip is on Friday, before you get out of work or whatever work day ends your week, just prepare yourself for the weekend. That eliminates you trying to find out what you want to do. And when the work, when the weekend comes in, you can actually enjoy yourself instead of planning. Because planning itself can be stressful sometimes. So find ways to actually do plan things before you get into the weekend. And then there's activities. What activities excite you? What, what makes you feel like, okay, I can have fun doing this? Whether it's getting the family together to enjoy your time together, whether it's getting friends together to go out to eat, go out to dance. I mean, you had a long week or you had full days of work. So why not find things and activities that can help you to release that tension? So make sure that you go out and have a good time. My third thing, my third tip is prep yourself so that you don't have to worry about certain things during the week. Now, when it comes to prepping yourself, I'm speaking on if you have a family, you want to make sure that you have the food together for the week if that's what you do normally, or basically getting the clothes clean, washing your clothes, making sure the house is nice, nicely cleaned and prepped so that when you go into the work week, that's not something that you have to worry about. Like That relieves so much stress of not worrying about, oh my God. I got to go home and cook meal, cook a meal for the family. Oh my God, I have to go home and wash some clothes. You don't want to have to worry about that. And that itself can actually, you know, bring stress within the work week. So if you can get that done on your time off, like the weekends, then my suggestion is go ahead and knock it out. Because working a nine to five and having to deal with so many different personalities and going home and have to deal with cooking, washing clothes, cleaning, that's a bit stressful. So you don't want to do that. If you have the downtime on the weekends, make sure you knock that out. My fourth tip is try to stay positive. I get it. You know, you're enjoying yourself. You're having a good time. And the thought of like, oh my God, I got to get back to work tomorrow. It is not a good thing. But at the same time, a lot of people may want to be in your shoes because they don't have a job. So be positive. Find things that can help motivate you throughout the day or throughout the weekend to get back to work. Whether it's motivational quotes or if you're spiritual, find tips or find scriptures that can actually help you. And just stay focused and positive. Because some people don't have jobs. Some people don't have businesses to go to. So... Don't let the idea of dealing with a work week affect you going into Monday. Because regardless if you like it or not, you can talk about Monday. It's still going to come. So make sure, just have yourself together. Prep yourself so that you won't have to worry about, oh my God, I got to get back to this workload. Less, lessen the, the burden. Lessen the stress. Find time to do things on your downtime so that you won't have to put too much on yourself when it comes to the, to the work week. Enjoy your weekend. Stay positive. Find things that you can do with family and friends. But that is my, motive, that is my tip for you. Always find things that you enjoy on your time off so that when you go into work on Monday or whatever day you start your work week on, you won't have to put that burden on other people. Yes, I get it. There's, there's bosses that you don't get along with. Yes, there's coworkers that you don't get along with. Clients, customers, I get it. But if you allow yourself to enjoy, enjoy yourself on your days off, it will actually help you to not be negative to get back into the work on your first day back to work. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to go to www.jesamine, J-E-S-U-M-E-N-E hyphen H-R.com for more tips on interviews or tips on the job, things to consider, 
while on the job or even off the job. But again, go to my website, click on, to, click below to subscribe to my channel, like and unlike, comment or welcome as well. All right, so everyone, I hope you go. Hope you guys go back to the work week, positive, focused, and driven, because you need to know that not everybody has the opportunity that you have. So enjoy the moment, enjoy the workload, because <laughs> you may not have you. You could not have it. So again, subscribe to my channel, go on jasminehr.com, and I enjoy you guys.